In the Mediterranean waters off of Israel's coast, underwater archaeologists are on a hunt, scouring the seafloor for artifacts. Submerged near Israel's Dor Beach are the remains of a 5,000-year-old port that was once a major trade point for the Mediterranean's ancient civilizations, including the Phoenicians and the Romans. With the deep-sea Leviathan gas field to start production late next year, a pipeline is being built from the gas field to the shore, running through the same location. For these archaeologists, it's a race against time. The Israel Antiquities Authority has partnered with the Leviathan Fields operator, U.S.-based Noble Energy, in a bid to minimize damage to the site. Uh, we work very closely uh, with the Antiquities Authority here in Israel to make sure that uh, should we discover such uh, finds, uh, we uh, first of all avoid causing harm to those areas. But local resident and marine archaeologist Kurt Rave, who has been excavating the area for decades, is worried. There is no way that you can check all the, the, the hundreds of kilometers of pipeline that are being looked at. We know only that for a thousand years, five thousand years, shipwrecks are laying out here. If one sunk every year, there must be thousands of them. Here in the site of a football field, we found already 28. So who knows how many more are in this region? Activists are concerned that the fate of the artifacts is not all that is at risk. The pipes are being buried around 50 to 65 feet below the seafloor to avoid damage to surroundings. But the pipeline and a production platform to be built about six miles offshore have become an issue, sparking protests and national outcry. I'm more afraid of the, the whole environment. If there will be an oil spill or whatever, a condensed thing, that it will destroy the whole, everything you see here, the whole tourist industry. Israeli people are going to fight. While Noble Energy claims the project won't damage the environment and will replace fossil fuels, local environmentalists and residents have fiercely sided against the plan. We have so many treasures and old shipwrecks and things like that. We should get them out of the water before we can't enter the water anymore. <laughs> Searching the ocean for archaeological treasures before history gets washed away. Erica Jackson, I-24 News.